Right, so one thing I've actually just thought I'd just quickly point out is these actually look quite good because they just link in from from one to the other and then to the other and that's just a kind of a a, a little diagonal kind of um, set of wires. It actually looks quite good. Pretty happy with that actually, how that's turned out. Uh, if I don't say so myself. Anyway, let's um, let's plug this in. What I've done is I've just connected the multimeter up to the top there. Uh, I'll just put this on the stand. There we go. We've got our light down the bottom with our CT clamp there, which is around one cable, um, which goes to a light bulb down the bottom, and we've got this going to the inverter. I actually need to take the camera much further back. And hopefully things will be in frame. Oops, they kind of are. But the multimeter's not. Okay, well you don't need to see the light bulb. You kind of want to see this stuff though. With any luck. With any luck you'll be able to see all three things. So multimeter at the top. Good time inverter in the middle. And um, watt meter on the side. So what we'll do first is let's turn the AC on to the, um, the good time inverter and let's double check that we've got, uh, that we've set the limiter on and before we even turn the DC on. So let's do that. Okay, and I'll just quickly check. Right, uh, moment of truth. What we'll do is now we'll turn our, um, our batteries on, I guess. Let's see what happens. Uh, yeah. Let's see what happens. It should do nothing. Okay, so the inverter is humming. Let's turn the multimeter on because that's really handy. Okay, so 81.3. Um, inverter's doing nothing. Inverter's saying 81.9. Yeah, close enough. I can't use my little watt meter thingy that I had, um, this little thing, because this has got a maximum of 60 volts. So it can do 100 amps, it says, but it's got a maximum of 60 volts. So can't, unfortunately, we can't currently see how much um, current is coming through these DC cables. Uh, I have ordered a clamp meter. I don't have the clamp meter just yet, so it's going to be a little bit frustrating since we don't actually know how many amps it's actually pulling. All we can actually see is how many watts is going back out. So I'll just change that over to watts. So we're reading currently six watts. Uh, I'll just check that it's in frame-ish. Uh, you can kind of see that. Um, I really can't do much better because it's dark and it's winter and it's cold. Uh, what I'll do before I turn it on, we've got 81.3 there. What I'll do is I'll just take this out and I'll just touch this to the top of the battery um, and we'll just see if we have any kind of voltage drop at all. What was it? 81.3? 81.3. .3. And if I come over to here. And touch it on the top of this. 81.3. So it's good. Um, no voltage sag at all across there. I'll try and get these cables out of the way so we can see the screen a little bit. Right. So, look at that, it's tidy. So, um, let's put a load on. The, um, the inverter, good time inverter, using the limiter, will pick up that there's a load in the house. In this example, it's a light bulb. And it should feed back that to the grid. What I'll do is I'll just replace the light bulb. Currently I've got a 100 watt one in there. I'll just take that out and replace it with uh, a 15 watt one just because I wanted to see what happened. So let's see what happened. Um, okay, so let's turn the light bulb on. 15 watts, it doesn't pick up through the CT clamp. So that's good to know that same thing happens even at 80 volts input. So we'll turn that off. We'll put in our um, 100 watt light. I might actually have another one. Right. 
This is a 23 watt one. Inverter makes a hum and it sees, so this is a 23 watt bulb and it's seeing 15.3. Um, it's just not enough load to pick up through that CT clamp, uh, which is fine. You know, the house is never going to have 15 watts, so, or 30, 20 watts or whatever it is. Okay, so 100 watts. Ah, fans turned on straight away. And it's thinking 100 watts is... 1900, 1936 watts. That's okay, we'll just leave that going for a second. What we'll do is we'll just, um, so that's 76.2. Um, Seventy-six point two. Seventy-six point one. Seventy-six point one. Seventy-six point. Just turn that off for a sec. Um. And we'll just. If the cables even remotely got warm, and they didn't. So that's good. Cables are cold. There's no temperature difference there. There is a voltage drop, obviously, when the inverter turns on full blast. Um, though I do wonder why it just. I wonder if something's going on here. Let's just take that out and let's just put it over one. Uh, did the inverter get hot? That's a good question. No, the inverter is still cold. So it should be seeing this 100 watt light bulb as 100 watts, not as 1900 and something.